opening my tea party just for you. Who's that? Is Dina, the so-called anime enthusiast Fox. It's time for my Blue Archive stream. And now then, my kids, just what's in store for today? Well, we're starting Volume 2, Chapter 1. So, might as well get started. Enter. Can you hear my voice? Are you there? You are the hero who will... Save the world. I've been waiting for you. In the beginning, the celestials and demons... Oh, wait. <laughs> wait a second. This... This is definitely uh, a game, isn't it? <laughs> This is way too cliche. It's so lame right off the bat. If I bought a game that started this lame, I'd be returning it before I even got an hour in. I mean, sometimes, you know, cliche stories are, if they're done well, they're really good. Right? <laughs> Let's go again. <clears throat> I've been waiting for you, hero. I am the goddess known as Memoria. Our world, Millennia Pol m m m m what? Millennia Polis. Mil Millennia Polis is now on the brink of an unprecedented crisis. You are the only one who can overcome this crisis and save the and save the game development department. I mean, uh, Millionopolis. This may be a difficult truth to accept, but I beg of you. That venture ahead will be difficult. You may face untold trials and hardships. But please, don't lose courage. Your maidens will always be by your side. I think it still sounds pretty cliche. <laughs> You are more than just a hero to the young ladies of this new world. They will call you by a title even more special. That great title is... Sensei! <laughs> Sensei! Yes? <laughs> I don't know the ceiling. Where... Am I? Wow! Sensei's eyes are open! Are you awake? You got lucky! <sighs> Don't say weird stuff like that! You're embarrassing, Sensei! <laughs> I'm just happy as all! Are you okay, Sensei? I was afraid you'd never wake up! <sighs> Thank goodness! I thought I was an accessory to murder after that fly station she threw out the window hit you on the head! Um, what? <laughs> what did you do? Let me apologize on her behalf. <laughs> Don't act so high and mighty, Midori. When I said I think I hit Sensei, the first thing you asked me was, Is the fly station okay? Th uh, that's simply because the game development department's most valuable asset. I, I blurted that out without thinking. Uh, anyway... So, Sensei, you represent Shada, right? <laughs> you do? You must have read our letter. I didn't think you'd really come. Letter? Sensei, wake up. <laughs> Now's not the time to... not remember things. We requested a... a we re I can't read. We've received a request from Millennium. The sender is... Hmm... The Millennium Game Development Department? Hmm... I'll read it. The Game Development Department is fighting for its survival. The Student Council has us cornered and you're our only hope. Please, hero, save us. <laughs> This is the most urgent yet funniest request I've ever received. Oh, are you familiar with Millennium Science School, Sensei? Sure am. Uh, that's the one that Yuka's in, right? 
Sure am. You must be. It's one of the three biggest academies in Kibotos alongside Trinity and Gehenna. Trinity is the one... They're the tea party one, right? And then they're the ones that are rivals with Gehenna. Millennium School! They value rationality and technology more than any other school in Kibotos. It's a place where students that specialize in science and engineering can gather in the name of research. They don't have the long history of the two more traditional academies, but their influence over Kibotos is just as great. Millennium is also where the latest and most cutting-edge technologies in Kibotos typically get their start. Trinity is Britain Tea Party. Okay, okay. Gehenna is Germany. Huh. Are, are those countries typically rival? Or is it just like a whole... Only rivals in this game? <laughs> <laughs> kind of hard to tell. I wonder what would cause the students to request their help. Hmm... I don't know, Musume san. Mm. Oh, I missed Kasura Musume. Welcome to the game development department, Sensei. We're glad you came. I'm Momoi, the department scenario writer. And I'm Midori, illustrator and the one in charge of all game visuals. There's also our president, Yuzu, but she's not here at the moment. Together, we make up the Millennium Game Development Department. <laughs> we can finally explore the ruins now that you're here, Sensei! Ruins? I'm going to need a summary of what's going on. <laughs> okay. Until recently, the Game Development Department had been creating a 16-bit game in peace. And then one day, the student gets launched its attack. Two days ago, you cut one of the student council's four divine beasts! Appeared and gave us an ultimatum! An ultimatum? Allow me to explain it to you myself. <laughs> I know that voice! Was it- is it Yuka? Yeah, it is! Yes. Hmm. It's you! One of the student castle's four divine beasts! The cold and calculating treasurer Yuka! Could you please not refer to me like I'm some kind of monster? I'm simply trying to do my job! Sensei! Good to see you, Yuka! Are you going to, uh, you know, check my finances and make sure I'm not spending weird my money on weird stuff? <sighs> what a mess! Momoi! You all are as stubborn as ever, aren't you? Now you've resorted to involving Shadda to stop us from shutting you down. But it doesn't matter. You can listen to the voices in game, so the voice lines need to be unlocked by relationship level. Blah, blah. Uh, okay, so I assume that I can only listen to like the voice lines if I have the character. Right? Whether it's Shada, the General Student Council, or even if the General Student Council President herself suddenly returned, it still wouldn't make a difference. The Academy Student Council has full discretion over the operation of its clubs. The Game Development Department will be closed. No one can stop it. N not so fast! You said that if we don't have the minimum required members or meet our club's objectives, that you would lose your budget and club room, yes? It's been explained countless times to you. Oh, wait, no, that was you, Kadase. That you would lose your budget and club room, yes? It's been explained countless times to you. It's been over a year, and you still don't have enough members, nor has your club been completing its objectives. With that in mind, on what grounds could you possibly object to our decision? I do have grounds! We're standing on tons of them! Our club is working its butt off at our activities! So we deserve a summit hearing. Uh, I think you mean a mitigation hearing. And don't be ridiculous. 
<laughs> You've tried opening a pachinko parlor inside the school. Attack the ancient history research society looking for a rare classic game console. Okay, that deserves some kind of punishment. <laughs> Your club's activities are anything but typical. How dare you ask for more funds? You're just creating havoc under the guise of fostering a healthy development environment. What do you have to say for yourselves? S sometimes you've got to look at the intentions behind something instead of the results. That's what a failure would say. I don't want to hear it. Dang the burn. You're the one who asked for an excuse. I merely wanted a reason, not a meaningless excuse. Results are all that matter at Millennium. Dang. Oh, that, 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 that sounds kind of pressuring. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like we don't have any results. We did complete an objective. We finished a game. Th that's right. Tail Saga Chronicle won top prize at a competition. Oh, they did? Tail Saga Chronicle? <sighs> yes, I'm aware of the award you won. I suppose Sensei is in the dark, however. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm, uh, I am completely in the dark. <laughs> Tail Saga Chronicle is the only game their club has successfully produced thus far. But Yuka... That, it's... It's just... Uh, you gotta... Admit that, you know, journey is more important than the destination, as one would say, but then this school is focused on the destination, not on the journey, so I guess not. <laughs> oh, man. And its reviews were just as impressive as the game itself. I remember them quite well. If they wanted to create the most pathetic RPG of all time, then job well done. Oh, oh. Uh, that, that's really... That's really sad. It's lacking in a lot of areas, especially common sense. The burns. The pain. Oh my god. This game makes Dead Crimson look like a masterpiece. You can't judge our game based on some trolls tearing us down. These are hardly outliers. It was the consensus. That's why you won the award for worst game of the year. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, that, that is really... <laughs> that's really sad. <laughs> to be given the award for worst game of the year. Oh my gosh. Hey, all publicity is good publicity, right? I mean... Yet no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think uh, all publicity is good. <laughs> Prob probably. D did it come with a trophy and everything? <laughs> uh, uh, anyways. It is unacceptable for your club to be wasting funds while damaging Millennium's reputation. You're a drain on resources and imp impeding the progress of other clubs on campus. So the burden of proof lies with you to show that your club is conducting valid activities. You want us to prove it? As I've said, if your club can produce meaningful results, we'll resign our... Resin, re resigned our decision to shut you down. Do you mean like winning accolades? Yes. Take the Bass Baseball team advancing to the Inter-High Championship, or the Engineering Department submitting new inventions, for example. Something along those lines. Surely there must be some sort of contest the game, the game development department can enter. Rescind. Thank you. <laughs> Try not to win yet another Worst Game of the Year award. Uh, uh, uh. If you'd rather save time, I could shut it down now instead. Feel free to vacate the club and throw away all this junk if that's what you want. <laughs> Don't call it junk! What is it if it's not junk? They're my...
My what? I got it! You want results? You get them! Will I? In fact, development is practically done! Is it? But what are you talking about? Why so surprised, Midori? We have a secret weapon up our sleeves. And we'll be making a submission to the Millennium Prize. Tail Saga Chronicle 2, otherwise known as TSC2. Huh? What's the Millennium Prize? It's a contest where hundreds of Millennium Clubs submit the fruits of their labor. No one would shut us no one could shut us down if we won that. Not even you! Uh that may be true. If and only if you were to win. I'm sure you realize how absurd what you're proposing is, Momoi. It'd be like our baseball team moving up to the majors rather than simply advancing to the inter high championship. Regardless, I'm excited to see what you have in store, even if it is destined to end in failure. So here it is. Your final chance. You have two weeks until the Millennium Prize. I hope you're looking forward to it as much as I can as much as I am. It was good seeing you again, Sensei. I'm sorry it wasn't under better circumstances. Ah, uh, it's fine. It's nice to see you anyways. Uh, just just make sure that you come to my tea party next time and that we drink some good tea and coffee and have some cake and sandwiches and wakashi, like ohagi, which I really want to eat. Uh, ohagi, so good. Oh no, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> but business is business when it comes to student council matters. I hope that things will be more pleasant the next time we meet. So long. Sounds good. Okay, game development team. What what what, what are we gonna do? Mm. Momoi, it's a long shot, but don't you think it'd be easier to recruit another member than it would be to develop a new game? We've been trying that for a month and no one's joined. I'm tired of people saying retro games are trash when, th when things like VR have already been around for years. That sneaky Yuka, she's just discriminating against us because she knows we're nerds that don't have friends. I hate her. I mean, you don't need to hate her. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, I got it. <laughs> you can't blame Yuka. We're the ones who are breaking the rules that apply to all the other clubs. Whatever. My point is we have no hope going down the recruitment route. But that doesn't mean there isn't a way. Oh, right. What's the sweet secret weapon you mentioned to Yuka? It's Sensei, obviously. Me? Oh, I mean, oh, okay. Me? Sensei and I are having the same brain cells, clearly. Don't you remember those ruins I mentioned, Sensei? There's a mysterious place near Millennium the General Student Council won't allow anyone to enter. Supposedly, the reason access is restricted is because it's dangerous. But they never told anyone what the danger is. That's pretty suspicious if you ask me. It's impossible to know if anyone has ever gone in or if anyone has ever made it back. It's a completely unknown world. Why would you want to go to a place like that? Because we want to make a great game. Let me be clear. I know the only thing we had to our name thus far is a crummy worst game of the year award. But the game consoles that I love have always made me happy. Are anything but junk. They're my treasures. Momoi! All we have to do is go to the ruins and finally find it. What's it? Oh, I probably should have explained that first. Did say by any chance? What, what, what? Have you ever heard of the G Bible? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> uh, to the ruins! Yes. So these are the ruins. They look pretty intense and destroyed. Huh. Hmm. 
Momoi? How much longer do we have to stay like this? Shh! Don't make a sound! Keep your head down, Sensei! Robots? I heard that the robots can eat, drink, and go to the bathroom. I still don't know how that works. <laughs> I wonder what they're saying. Hmm. They're human too. <laughs> what exactly is human anymore? <laughs> I don't know what it is anymore. Ew, are they gone? Good, let's go. This isn't good at all. What is this place? It's crawling with weird robots. What do you mean? I told you before we came here. Those are the ruins. But I get what you mean. I knew this place was supposedly dangerous still. Why are all these robots here? What reason would they have to be guarding ruins? I don't know much other than what I heard from Veritas. I heard he told you that access to this location was heavily restricted, right? You mentioned it a few t times. How did I get here? What's going on? Well, now that we're here, I'll explain it again. The ones, the one who restricted access to this place and tried to hide its very existence was none other than... The General Student Council President. You mean the president who presides over all others? The one who suddenly disappeared? When in the saying, the General Student Council also had troops stationed here, but... They withdrew after she went missing. We wouldn't have gotten this far in, in otherwise. The point is this. Since the General Student Council has given up on trying to hide or watch this place, Veritas was able to slip us in. According to what Himari told me, these ruins might hold all sorts of long lost things from Kibotos' past. Himari? Do you mean that pretty upperclassman from Veritas that uses a wheelchair? She, gave me, she gives me all-knowing RPG stage vibes. If even she doesn't know, then this place really is mysterious. But what makes you think G-Bible is here? Wait a second! Don't tell me that you jumped to the conclusion that G-Bible is here just because of what Himari said. That's not it! When I asked Veritas to search for the G-Bible, they also looked into the last place it was activated. But the result came back as... Area redacted. That means... Exactly. G-Bible is somewhere in these ruins. What is this G-Bible thing you keep... You both are talking about? I was gonna tell you yesterday before you got interrupted us. Wait, it's the next day already? Back in Millennium's early days? Well, all of Kibotos' early days, really. There was a legendary game developer. That person created the G-Bible while they were attending Millennium. The exact details aren't known. But I was told it contains the secrets to making a perfect game. That sounds like a marketing tactic for a game development school or something. No, the G-Bible is real. I know the Bible for creating the perfect game is out there somewhere. If we were to get our hands on G-Bible, Tales Saga Chronicle 2 would be perfect. All we have to do is follow the coordinates Veritas gave us, and we'll finally have it. Uh, uh, you know, right next to you or behind you. Oh, shoot, they found us. Uh, 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 uh oh. <gasps> Robots? Oh, no, they're mad. <laughs> they're so aggressive. How many of these robots are hit there? We'll be surrounded at this rate. Uh, what do we do? Looks like there's a factory over there. Run! Huh? Factory? Oh, good thing you, Sensei. Hurry up, break through the robots. We're going to the factory. Sensei, please lead us into battle. I shall. Let's see how this goes.
勝利へのシナリオが見えない帰ってゲームしたい Destroy them! I wonder what.、Oh, I, I wish I could just see what it does. What does this do? Fan shape. What about this one? Poison damage. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Why is so adorable?、Mm. There we go. Oh. Nice, nice, nice. Destroyed. Confirm. On that day, we met a girl. Oh, is it that one girl? I remember seeing a girl in that specific place in the trailers. I just can't remember what her name was, but she ends up joining the game development department, right? I think that's what it was. I'm like kind of starting to put everything together. <laughs> If I am right. What the? Why aren't the robots still chasing us? They were hot on our heels right up until we entered the factory. I don't get what they're doing, but it works out great for us, right? I can't take this anymore. What do we do to deserve to be chased by robots? Calm down, Midori. The force is behind us. She's so positive. This is your fault. Never mind that. What even is this place? Did the General Student Council restrict access to the ruins because they knew about the robots? Actually, I was wondering if those robots were brought here by them to begin with. I'm starting to doubt that now. I think there's more to this, and. Access denied. Access denied. What was that? Where is that voice coming from? Verifying subject identity. Saiba Momoi. Unqualified. What the? How does it know my name? Verifying subject identity. Saiba Midori. Unqualified. What's going on? Verifying subject identity. Rijina Sensei. Tell me. Qualified. You have permission to enter, Sensei. Oh, I don't want to enter. <laughs> What was that? Have you been here before? Uh, no, I don't know. No, Sensei looks just as confused as we do. Saiba Momoi and Saiba Midori have been recognized as students of Sensei. Access as companions granted. Bottom door open. B bottom? Bottom door? Is that not the one in front of us? Wait. By bottom, it doesn't mean. That can't be. It's just an ordinary floor. Uh oh. Well, it's time to fall. <laughs> it did mean that. We're falling. <laughs> that would be my worst nightmare. <laughs> falling. Momoi sensei. Ah! Oh, ow, that sounds painful.、Mm. Uh, 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 Momoi sensei! Uh, uh, I thought we were gonna die! Are you okay, Momoi? Where's sensei? I'm down here. Oh, my back. <laughs> What are you doing down there? Uh, breaking your fall, probably. <laughs> And injuring myself、uh, as a result. What do you mean? Be grateful since they broke our fall.、Uh, oh. I guess I was so frazzled that I jumped to conclusions. How do you jump to conclusions for that? 
I would not want to break your fall if it means that. I think you owe Sensei an apology for that one. Yes. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, I'm doing pretty all right. I wouldn't mind staying down here. A anyway, thanks for your help. What about the, what about the apology? <laughs> Luckily, we didn't fall as far as I thought we would. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> what in the? Is something wrong, Moe? Oh. Oh. It makes me wonder if this chapter is focused on Aris's past. Oh, well, aside from, you know, making the game and her joining the development department. A girl? What's she doing out down here? Is she asleep? Mm, nothing. It's almost like she's dead. Don't say that. I don't think this is a corpse. Take a closer look. She doesn't look injured. More like destroyed. Really? Come to think of it, I guess she does kind of look like a mannequin. Hmm. Let's see. Mm, her skin is so soft. Oh, there are some letters here. A-L-I-S. What's that supposed to mean? Is this supposed to be her name? How would you pronounce that? Mm, no, wait. That's not a letter. It's actually... A-L-1-S. Really? Who is this girl? And what's this place supposed to be? Hmm. It does make me wonder if this area is actually part of the place, you know, the scene in the beginning of the game where the student council president is on the train all bloody. And I think in the background, it was a pretty much ruined city, I assume. So it makes me wonder if this particular spot is the same place. Oh, wait, wait, did I already read this? Uh, just in case I didn't read it, I'll reread it again. Who is this girl? And what's this place supposed to be? Maybe we should ask her. Oh, how are you going to wake her up? If she wakes up, that is. Let's give her some clothes first. I feel bad leaving her like this. Wow, you really did bring in an extra change of clothes. Wait, that's my underwear! Oh, they're mine! The kitty face on the front is different. <laughs> I like how they know. That's funny. That's sweet of her, though. Okay, all done. Huh? What was that noise? It sounded like some kind of alarm. Are there any robots nearby? No, I think it came from her. What? Could it be? Status update. Contact with approved subject detected. Dormant state deactivated. Oh, she looks so cute in that outfit. If she's an android, I assume that she can also eat, drink, and go to the toilet, right? Right? <laughs> Please tell me if I'm right. I must adopt her. Why is she so cute? She looks like a little hamster that I just want to like... Her on the head and then pamper her and spoil her and everything. She, she opened her eyes. Mm. Circumstances unknown. Attempt conversation. Please explain. Explain? You want to know what's going on? So we were going to ask you! Who are you? What is this place? Sense of self, memory, and purpose not found. No data available. What does that mean? And you're not going to attack us, don't are you? Negative. 
The offensive capabilities of this unit cannot be activated when in contact with an approved subject. <laughs> Fascinating! Kibodos has several robotic citizens, but I've never seen one that looks like us. What do we do now, Sensei? Tell me what you mean by approved subject. Who are you? What is this place? Answer not found. This is presumably the first occurrence of deep consciousness for this unit. Answers unknown. Deep consciousness? What does that mean? Hmm. Factory basement, no clothes, memory loss. That's pretty suspicious if you ask me. I really don't like where you're going with this. Huh? <laughs> She's so adorable. <laughs> so cute. Huh? What were you thinking? Why did you bring her to the club room? Uh, don't choke me again, Brit. <laughs> I had no choice. I couldn't leave her there with all those scary robots. Uh, don't put that in your mouth. Spit it out. We couldn't leave her all alone. I know that. But shouldn't we submit a report about her to the General Student Council or Valkyrie? We can't do that, not until our task is all done. What do you mean, task? Hmm, first we should give her a name. How does Arisa sound? Please confirm Arisa is the designated name for this unit. Wait, wait! You said her name was that AL1S. Where did you get Arisa from? Eh, the other thing would take too long to say, and it's not cute enough. Trust me, a dev knows best. What do you think, Arisa? Confirm. Unit designation, Arisa. <laughs> See? Do I know how to pick a cute name or what? Well, as long as she's fine with it. Now let's move on to the next step. You can't be serious. This isn't as simple as adopting a cat. Think about it, Midori. Why did we risk our lives to get G-Bible in the first place? Huh? It was to make a good game so we could keep our club. Exactly. To keep our club, we have to meet one of two conditions. Making a good game and winning the Millennium Prize is just one of our options. But I thought you said it was the only way. We haven't had any luck recruiting people to work on a retro game. Hold on. Momoi, don't tell me. You're thinking of disguising her as a Millennium student having her join our club? Arisu! You're now one of us! <laughs> Th that's my king! Girl, advanced SP is the only 60 big console! Game console and game with us with an 8 core, there's 16 threads, custom CPU capable of 8K resolution! <sighs> I hope this works! I hope so too! I, Arisu. Somehow it's nice to have a story where we don't have like a particular enemy organization that we're going against and it's mostly just a cute slice of life type of plot where it's just saving the club because that's usually seems to be the slice of light life plot for a lot of things. In a more normal manner. Well, if, can I even call this normal? <laughs> I don't, I don't know about this. I don't know about it either. Will it really be okay if we disguise her as a club member? Okay. Verifying meaning. A condition lacking in negative attributes or problems. Confirmed. There's no way this will work. She'll blow her cover the second she opens her mouth. It's hopeless we can't pull something like this off. We have to. I'll do whatever it takes if it means saving the game development department. Izu can't move back to the dorms if we don't do this, well, she'll have nowhere to go. <gasps> That's true. Eddie's is so adorable. <laughs> I think she passes the eye test. All she needs now is a weapon and a student ID. 
I'll take care of getting you registered and having an ID made. Midori, I want you to teach Arisa how to hold a conversation with Yuzu. A conversation? What do you mean? Like you said, she's not gonna sound like a normal student. People have been saying for ages that our club can't recruit new members because we have no friends. So if you guys, Arisu, whether she really belongs to the game development department, Arisu responds to something like... Affirmative. Arisu is property registered to the game development department, Bebop. That's going to raise a few eyebrows. I mean, sure, but... <sighs> okay, then. I'll try. Good! I'm counting on you. Then she left. <laughs> wait! wait. Uh -oh. hmm? uh, so, Arisu? Affirmative. Arisu is the designated name of this unit. I don't even know how to I learn to make conversation. I suppose I just picked it up from watching TV or hearing other people talk. Mm, maybe I could find an educational program for kids online. Mm. Huh? Hurry. Please verify object identity. Huh? Y you mean that? <laughs> oh. Uh. That, it's a little embarrassing, but it has an article about a game we made. It's got a lot of really bad reviews. Oh, right! I'm not proud of the fact that it won Worst Game of the Year. But why don't you give it a try, Arisa? There are all kinds of conversations in the game, so it might be a good opportunity to learn. Huh? Purpose not understood. However... Mm. Really? G give me just a minute. I'll set it up for you. Give her a... <laughs> no. That would be horrible. I can't imagine adorable Addis is talking like, oh gosh, no. <laughs> That's so scary. Okay, it's ready. Addis, starting game. As the title suggests, our game is a classic fantasy RPG with a rich fairy tale atmosphere. Cosmic calendar, a year, 2354. Mankind is engulfed in the flames of retribution. Mm -hmm. Well, it does take inspiration from some other genres trends too. So sticking with the same tired tropes can get boring after a while. Pressing button. Beginning tutorial. Press the B button to equip the weapon in front of you. Press... B button. Hmm? Game over. <gasps> Where's the fun in knowing what will happen? The trick is you should have pressed the A button there. Okay, I can see why. <laughs> I can see why I got worst game of the year. <laughs> I'm sorry, Momoi. What are you doing here, Momoi? I thought you were going to get the student ID. Oh, I must have gotten there too late since there was no one there. I'll go back tomorrow. Anyway, on second thought, I think the way we designed this scene is a little unfair. Mm. Uh, again. Resume! Experiencing emotion that cannot be conveyed with your words! Oh! I know what you're feeling! It must be interest or anticipation! I'm going to guess it's rage. Open equipped successfully. Picked up sword. You're picking this up quicker than I expected. Once you're past the tutorial, it won't be long until you get to the best part of any RPG. Combat start. Huh? A wild puny jelly appeared. Tension. Excitement. Interest. Mash the A button. Trust me. A button. Secret sword. Tsubame guy, she t attacks twice. Must get puny jelly. 
Secret Sword, Superman. Pow! Counter attack, one hit KO. Game oh. <sighs> yeah, I would be raging too at that point. <laughs> huh? Pooty Jelly, you should know better than to bring a sword to a gunfight. Huh? <laughs> Do you think the hoop at the end is a little too much? I don't think that's the biggest issue here. Operational error. Processing. Uh, are you okay, Arisa? Resuming functionality. Initiating. Notice. Caution required while in range of the puny jelly. Navigate and exterminate. You're getting it. It's all about learning a little bit at a time until you know how to handle anything and everything. This is the lure of retro games. Except I don't think retro games are uh, built like this too. Two hours later. A critical computational processing and comprehension error has occurred. It, it, it's okay, Arisa. Uh, right after this phase is the climax. Uh, we really messed up on this part. It's supposed to say that he prefers me, but we couldn't find the right words. When he says sorry, I can't help you ladies with those veggies. I'm more of a sausage lover myself. God, he says circuits almost got fried. Mary, why is my mother a love interest? And why was she my wife in a previous life? Additional query. Why did my wife's ch missing childhood half-friend come through a time warp? Dictionary lookup of half-friend. Return negative. Definition not found. Yeah, yeah, I, I, this game, uh, no, no wonder it won worst game of the year. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Err. Uh, Addy, sir, you all right? You almost got to the climax. Initiating reboot. System restore complete. Yeah. This is your game. Resuming play. Arisa suffered. <laughs> Two hours. So basically, have four hours in total. Please kill me. Th that was incredible, Arisa. Sure, you had two deaths with you, but you got the true ending in only three hours. What a speed run. Wasn't it four hours, technically? By the way, Momoe, have you noticed that the more Arisa plays, the weirder the way she talks has become? If he does inquire of my opinion, dear hero, yours truly heartily agrees. Yeah, I get what you mean. It's definitely awkward, but it sure beats her just listing words out. Uh, um, so... I have a kind of embarrassing question for you, Arisu. How was our game? Did you have fun? Query description not found. B but why? Expression lookup in progress. Loading response. P please don't be a curse word. Fun. Fun. Confirm. <gasps> the more I played, the more I felt like I was being transported to a new world. It was like a dream. I. Need more. Mm. <laughs> what the? Uh, Arisa, why are you crying? And <laughs> what do you mean why? She's been touched by her game. But our game is just a comedy RPG. Thank you, Arisa. Your tears cancel out a thousand bad reviews. I wish Yuzu could be here to see this. That's cute. <laughs> I'm here. Huh? When did the cabinet get open? <laughs> A ghost! Bitterly stop. Don't throw the fly station again. Huh? Yuzu! We couldn't find you anywhere. How long have you been hiding in the cabinet? Since you guys got back from the ruins. That 
was a lie a long time ago. Oh, were you scared of Anissa or something? You should have said something. Anissa and I could have stepped out if you needed us to. Anyway, I think an introduction is in order. Arisu meet Yuzu, the president of the game development department. Um, so, I mean... Huh? Thank you. Thank you for saying the game was fun and that you wished it wouldn't end. And thank you for crying. It really means a lot. Huh? I've always wanted to hear those things said about our game. Yes, uh... I mean, I can understand what she means. As a creator, it's always hard if you're hearing a bunch of bad reviews or comments. Even though, even if it's something that you put your passion and efforts and energy into. That's also why I tend to not like, even if I don't enjoy something, I don't say anything. I just move to the next because it's hard as a creator to have to see bad comments all the time anyways. Even if it's called constructive criticism. We never know what kind of tolerance level people have. Anyways, it's nice to meet you, Arisa. Like Momoi said, my name is Yuzu and I'm the president of the game development department. Thank you for joining our club, Arisa. I look forward to making things with you. Look forward? Acknowledge! Bam bam bam! Yuzu has joined the party! That is... What you mean? Affirmative? Uh, yeah, I think that covers it. It seems like you really understand our game. Getting new party members is one of the simple joys of playing an RPG. Oh, and if you want another fun game to play... I do have a recommendation. Wait, I've got some must plays first. The more you play, the more natural your speech is becoming. All we gotta do is get a lot of words in front of you. First the people of Heroes, then Final Fantasia, and then Chrono Digger. <laughs> huh? Anis is new to games though. The Legend of Zinda Long's Awakening is the obvious choice for a noob. Sorry, but I can't keep quiet about this. Her next game has to be Romancing Naga. I don't care what comes after that. Huh? Excitement confirmed! I'm going to start the game. Oh, <laughs> she's so cute. <laughs> oh, this is adorable. Two hours later. Beep, bop, boop. Wow, you read so fast, Adisa. And you understand everything on screen, too? Hey, Adisa, let's try Stratagem Ogre next. I'll introduce you to the world of tactics games. Hmm. Beep. Boop. 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 Beep. Boop. 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 Beep. Boop. 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 There. Beep. Boop. Boop. Cleared. <laughs> She's so hardcore. <laughs> I mean, it helps that she probably doesn't need to sleep. Uh, uh, mm, morning already? Oh no, I've got to get ready for school. Uh, you finally opened your eyes. Thank goodness, I was not sure you were ever going to wake up. Huh? I see you can speak normally now. Indeed, mortal. Gaze upon me and know it to be true. <laughs> still not normal. Uh, uh, I guess there's still some room for improvement. Good morning, everyone. 
Good morning! Here you go, Arisu. Huh? Strange item obtained. Wow, you're getting so good at talking now. This is a student ID. Maybe it's actually kind of cool that she talks like she's in a retro game. A student ID? You need a student ID to prove you go to our school. Veritas hacked, I mean... Registered you in the academy list, so you're one of us now. One of you? As in, I am an ally? Ba -ba -ba. Arisa has joined the party. <laughs> is this really gonna work? Of course, we've already got the uniform, the student ID, it's fine. Next order of business is... A weapon. Alright, Arisa, we've got some things to show you. By that you mean... Like a grand tour of the Millennium School? Much too big to be called a gun. <laughs> All students at Millennium or well, Kibotos have their own personal weapons. So you'll need one too, Arisu. And there's only one place that'll get you what you need on short notice. The engineering department. That is a new word. Engineering? It's a club of experts who make and repair machines here at Millennium. Their members are called Meisters. They do a bunch of thing machines in general and also handle remodeling the school's weapons. So I bet you they got some spare weapons lying around. Alright, let's go! I see. You want to get a better weapon for your classmate. Well, you've come to the right place. A competent student is nothing without an appropriate weapon. If you look to the corner there, you'll see some prototypes we put together. It's all fair game, so help yourselves. Wow, thanks a bunch, Utaha! Uh, hi, I'm Hibiki, and, um... I'm a first year here. Well, that's if I need something special. How about this? Oh, a pistol! I get the feeling this girl, uh, doesn't have much combat experience, am I right? Disagree. I have already saved humanity 27 times. Defeated the Demon King 46 times and explored hundreds of dungeons! Uh, that is, um... Pr pretty prolific of you! It still seems like you're new to guns. In which case, a pistol is ideal. It has a light plastic frame and there isn't much recoil. It's a good starter gun, but there's something even better about it. This model has a never-before-seen feature that, until recently, has never existed in the history of our school! What is it? It sounds impressive! Please tell us! The new feature that will rock the world of firearms is... Bluetooth! Uh-huh! The one and only pistol that allows wireless music playback and file sharing via Bluetooth! It also functions as a digital car key and can be used to tag into IC panels on public transit services. And to top it all off, if you enable the NFC feature, you can use it to make payments at convenience stores. That, that's amazing. But imagine how the store clerk would freak out if you whipped out a pistol and said, I'll be big with this. What do you think Aris... Oh, wait, wait. Where did she go? Oh, there she is. She's looking at... Is that? <laughs> you have a good eye, customer. Who are you? I'm Kotori, one of the engineering department's meisters and a master of explanations. Huh? And you must be Arisu, the fourth member of the game development department. Oh, hello again, Kotori. What is this huge thing here? Kind of looks like a cannon. Excellent deduction, Midori. This here was produced using about 70% of the club's budget for the second half of the year. Allow me to introduce our most ambitious project yet. A railgun fit for an, an intergalactic battleship. Uh, an intergalactic battleship? That's nuts. 
Didn't a lot of people get horrible colds when you tried making that cryo sleep hibernation device? Well, I mean, the Direct to Future Express is still in use today. But now as a refrigerator. We're sending the food into the far future so it wasn't a complete failure. That's quite the name for a fridge. The engineering department is going to develop an intergalactic battleship right after some helicopters that channel purpose work robots. It's real gun is at the beginning of that plan. A live ammunition weapon developed for use in the vacuum of space. No one's ever attempted this in the history of millennium. When you put it that way, it kind of gets me excited too. Me too. If anyone can do it, it's our engineering department. <laughs> you can count on us. Uh, actually, we, uh... Uh, the whole plan is on ice for the time being. Why'd you hype me up just to shoot me down? Like usual, our problem is not a lack of imagination or passion. <laughs> we want a budget. It took 70% of the semester's budget just to make this one gun. To make an intergalactic battleship, we're going to need a thousand times more. Then why did you make this gun in the first place? What a disappointing question, Momoi. It's simple, really. It's because... We love laser beams! Um... I mean... Uh, that doesn't sound bad! <laughs> if you love something, do it! <laughs> well said, Utaha! I agree wholeheartedly, of course! If Momoi can't appreciate laser beams, then she's surely a fool! I'm surrounded by idiots! By the way, the official name of this passion project is... Supernova, the Sword of Light! Another overblown name! <gasps> the Sword of Light! Whoa, look at Adisa's eyes sparkle! Wow, incredible! I I've never seen her so excited! I want one! Huh? Oh, gray formers of steel! Bequeath unto me the might of the dragon's breath. Uh, I'm glad to hear you're so passionate. But we couldn't possibly fill that, fulfill that request. But you said everything in this corner was fair game. I have my reasons. What reasons, though? Is my level too low? What stats do I need to equip this weapon? That's not really what I mean. With matters like this, you have to be realistic. Uh, I knew it. This is about the money. Don't worry, Adisa. If I must, I'm willing to part with Midori's fly station. That, that's not it either. What are we getting realistic about if the issue is not money? Don't get me wrong. The budget is something to be concerned about. But there is something more pressing here. This weapon is way too heavy duty to be used as a personal weapon. By itself, the railgun probably weighs 140 kilograms. At the optical accuracy device and battery, and that's almost 200 kilograms. Mm. Exactly. We're all happy you're so interested in our creation, but and were you able to actually handle it yourself? I imagine we could part with it. Huh? Oh. Are you certain nothing begills your thoughts, te Techno Mage? Oh, she's speaking weird again. I, I think she wants to know if you're serious about what you just said. Of course I am. How about this? Do you want to try holding it? Hmm. She who lifts this weapon on high shall rule this land. <laughs> That's the spirit. Be, be careful, don't hurt yourself. We really should have the crane over here to Huh? What? Huh? Hurry! I I did it! No way! <laughs> So how does button layout work? Would this be the R trigger? But wait! Blinding light! Oh no! Holy smokes! <laughs> <laughs> the room! Amazing! I will equip this to my weapon slot. We picked something else, we put so much of our budget into that one. It's okay. She should take it. Is that really okay, Uta? No one else can use it anyways. 
Hibiki put together a shoulder strap and add some handles so Arisa can carry it more easily. Can do. On the plus side, we're going to be able to collect a lot good of a lot of good data from uh <laughs> real combat scenarios. This is crazy. I feel like we just got a super rare item. Thanks, guys! Yeah, thank you! It's a little early to be thanking us. What now? Hibiki, go get all those drones and robots we're going to throw out. Okay. What's Uta up to? Ah, maybe she's not gonna let the late rail gun go so easily. You catch on quick. If you want that weapon. You have to get through us. Uh-oh. Seriously, I thought you said we could have it if she could lift it, Uta. <laughs> we just wanted a weapon for Arisa. For any other weapon, I would happily let it go. But for this project, you need to earn my approval first. What does that mean? I guess it's more of a qualification exam than a bid for approval. I don't understand. Combat drones and robots detected. Danger confirmed. Here they come. I mean, I guess I could understand since it's probably a very dangerous weapon. So they would want to make sure that she has a good handle and control over it. Go! Let me see. Uh, let's see. I, I guess it should be fine for now. Yes, that's what it is. I don't think I need that yet. This should be good. Perfect. Up here! Oh, they, they don't work. I guess I should save it then. Perfect. Now I can try it. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Ooh. That was nice. Come on, come on. Destroyed! She charges up over time when she glows, she's ready, she's ready to heal tons of dark. Oh, so that's how it works. Thank you. Uh, not bad. <laughs> I can't believe we lost, but I guess a deal is a deal. Arisu, the Sword of Light is now yours alone. Hooray! Yeah. <sighs> Everything worked itself out. I still can't believe you can even lift that gun. Anyway, uh... Come here, Arisu. I can give you some operating instructions and reinforce the grip some more. Is she suspicious? Grip strength of at least one metric ton. Being able to maintain balance while firing, and she has superhuman strength. Not to mention a body which perfectly maintains itself. Oh, does she know? To be self repairing itself via nano machines, meaning was designed for use in harsh environments where constant maintenance is required. Obviously, one such environment immediately springs to mind the battlefield. She's so cute. Just who is Arisu, really? Arisu is my adorable new daughter. That, that's what. <laughs>